clear, dependable starter to go with Jet and Hunter. And Kobe stepped up and done that. You also need help on the point with with Jalen Hurt, and then he stepped up and done that. Talk about what you've gotten out of him in the last several games and, and what he means to this team. Uh, about who? Kobe. Oh, Kobe. Okay. Uh, Kobe's been great for us throughout the year. Uh, and for our team to affect winning, uh, it doesn't always have to show up in scoring. Uh, you know, that uh, entails both sides of the ball, defensively and offensively. And one of the biggest improvements for Kobe uh, has been his defense. And uh, I've seen him, you know, and I know my staff will agree to this, is that we're watching a young man who's becoming a two-way player. You know, last year as a freshman, the game was moving so fast for him, and he was trying his best to you know, grasp the new teachings, uh, what's asked of him, new habits. And not saying he wasn't bought in his first year, but the second year, you know, he started getting more confident, he started to feel more comfortable. And at, at times you, you see how he's you know, allowing the game to come to him on the offensive end, but at the same time on the defensive end, he's impacting in so many ways. And Doug McDaniel told us that you guys have a special relationship and you know how to get him going. And, and, and he wasn't going anywhere for a while. Talk about what you maybe told him and, and how he turned it around down the stretch. Uh, I'm sorry, what do you mean by he wasn't going anywhere? He, he, well, statistically, he, he wasn't, wasn't scoring in this wasn't game. Scoring and I mean, he rebounded and assists late. Well, um, you can definitely impact the game in a lot of ways instead of the points. And you know, one of the things that with our team that we focus on is uh, you know, how can you play both sides of the ball and be effective out there where you can breathe life into your team. And one of the areas that sticks out in my mind, but also in the stat sheet, is that he had eight rebounds. And he's the lead rebounder. And I called him a big guard tonight because uh, he went in there and grabbed some tough rebounds took down the stretch when we got stops, when Hunter or uh, Terrence was, was battling and keeping the guys off the board. Um, we were going to need everyone. On the defensive end to be able to get rebounds for us, and yes, it was all hands on deck. Tom, yeah, Juwan, uh, great finish on your win. Uh, at certain parts of the game, though, the defense lapped us early in the second half. We were stuck on 62 offensively for a while. What were the things that were going wrong? That you were well, them? if you go back to down the stretch, I think it was like what 14 or two run that we made. <laughs> When they were up 72 to 76, so let's not forget about that. Let's let you know. Let's give these young men their flowers on how they were able to buckle down and find ways to you know get stops when needed. And I really give them a lot of credit because they had to deal with a lot this week. And you're talking about finals, and I hadn't played in a game in a long time since uh, Minnesota, and coming back from you know, London, and then you know you have your first game at home. You're happy to be in front of your home crowd and. Um, you know, you're going to have some stretches where the games are built on runs, but when we we got it done when we had to. Andrew? Juwan, uh, Kobe, Kobe is young relative to most sophomores. His, his high school career was kind of limited at the end for various reasons, I guess. Do you feel there's still you know, some more untapped potential than your typical second year player? Well, when you're a sophomore, yes, of course it is, because he's still young and uh, he's not a senior yet. Uh, you play against sometimes fifth-year seniors or guys that have been in six years in, in college, and uh, you have a, you know, a big advantage, and it, it gives you an edge uh, because you've seen a lot, you played a lot of games, and you have a ton of experience. But uh, Kobe, uh, he's a competitor, and uh, what, what I see in Kobe is a guy that loved basketball, fell in love with the game of basketball, student of the game, and he's a grinder. Second, middle coach Lindsay. Yeah, this is only Doug's second game started um, to see what he was able to do down the stretch and um, how he's able to step up. What does that mean for this team, not just today, but going forward for the rest of the season? You hear that, fellas? You know, the young lady understands exactly You know what a young man who just come in for a second start. And at times, we expect for you know, things to happen right away. Uh, because we live in a microwave world where everything's supposed to happen so instant. You know, But it takes time to develop. And you know, you got to have patience. and. You know, I have patience with Doug, and we have patience with the team that we're going to keep growing and keep getting better, and Doug is going to keep leading us. He has the ball in his hands. And one of the toughest positions in basketball uh, is point guard position. And Doug is the right person and has the right makeup for that position, and he's going to help lead us.
thing in middle of the tunnel? Yeah, Jawan. Uh, I wonder, oftentimes this year, the, the team has gone through Hunter and gone through Jet. How important is it to find a third and a third person to, to be reliable? I mean, we're not looking for a third. We're looking for a team. <laughs> this game is built on team. And uh, you, are, you remember when Coach late the great Ocean Beckler, all he talked about was team, team, team. Never singled out the quarterback, never singled out the defensive end, the running back. He said, you will win team, 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 team play. And that's exactly what we have. We are uh, one through 15 south. Steve? Well, your, your crowd was, home crowd was appreciative of, of the way you guys pulled it out and played with such a strong uh, game down the stretch. Talk about what, finding ways to win and, and the importance of that. Uh, winning is hard. You know, we can all sit back and watch it on TV or we can sit in the stands and think that it's so easy as you're watching these young men out go out there competing. Why did they make that shot? How you missed that layup? You know, how you missed that free throw? Why you missed that block out? Shit's hard. <laughs> it's not easy. And especially you got the bright lights focused in on you. You got um, um, a lot of fans out there and some that are, when you miss a shot, oh, you know, and how deflating that, that feels. Uh, for a young man, uh, but they find ways, man, because they are gritty, they are competitive, they care, they work hard in practice, and they try their hardest in games to go out there and perform. And uh, I'm so damn proud of them. Anybody have anything else? Coach, can you see Jalen as a, as a mentor to Doug? You kind of talked about him and when he comes off the floor and, and his role in kind of Doug's development as well. Oh, Jalen is awesome. He's a great person, great leader. Um, they have a great relationship. Jalen's been great for everyone. Just having his presence um, on our team, I knew from day one his type of character and getting to know him as I was recruiting him that he would be the right person to fit our culture. And I haven't second guessed it one bit, and I was right on. Uh, and it's nice how the team embraced him and how he's embraced his brothers. Anything else? All right, coach.